I'm 22, and, and my energy's right now focused on, on my career, and, and I'm just trying to set up the base for my life that I think everyone does when they're in their early 20s. How cute is that? That was E.T.'s first interview with Michael J. Fox back in 1984 on the set of Family Ties. Now, since then, we have followed Fox's Hollywood career and, of course, his real-life battle with Parkinson's disease. Only our Brooke Anderson was invited to talk to Michael and his wife, Tracy Pollan, inside their New York home. It's an E.T. exclusive. How is your health today? How are you doing? At the moment, I'm kind of what we call off, <laughs> which is uh, my meds are, are working. They're going to kick in as soon as we're done. It was 27 years ago when a doctor first diagnosed a tremor in his pinky finger as the beginning of Parkinson's. How do you both cope with the tough days? Well, this is one of them. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not tough days are not really... It's not relative. It's, exactly. I feel like however I am, it's, I, I, I'm really into acceptance. But you have to recognize it is what it is. 99% of the rest of my life is not Parkinson's. It's mm -hmm. other, other stuff, and that keeps me busy. And, I don't know, I'm too stupid to feel sorry for myself. But he wasn't always so positive about life. He once abused alcohol as a way of coping with the disease. One time I, I woke up with a hangover and I, and I expected Tracy to be mad at me. And she wasn't angry, she was just bored. And, and that to me was more frightening than anything. Is that how you felt? I didn't scream, I didn't, mm -hmm. I wasn't angry. I was kind of feeling done. They worked through it as he and Tracy recently celebrated 30 years as husband and wife. With her love and support, he was able to regain sobriety and pursue his mission of helping others with the disease. Through all the trials and tribulations, how have you made that marriage work? It's so cliche, but we, we just really like each other. We're, we're, we're most happy in each other's company. I love you, all right? I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> The two met back when she was cast as Michael's love interest on Family Ties. You have said that you had this huge crush on Tracy. Do you still have that crush on more, her? More, more than ever, every, every day. <laughs> There's nothing else you could say right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's true, absolutely, I totally have a crush on her. This weekend, Michael and his family all attended the annual gala for his foundation. The event was called A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to Cure Parkinson's. The youngest Fox girl is still in high school. Their twin daughters recently graduated college. And lookalike son Sam is hoping to become an agent. Well, mostly his advice is, you know, be myself and, and really sort of understand what it is that I'm doing, which, which is what I'm trying to do. Since Michael created the Michael J. Fox Foundation nearly 20 years ago, it has raised over $800 million for research. It's not about building up a foundation for the greater glory of me or the greater glory of, of, of the scientists, but, but to actually do the work and include the patient community in it every step of the way, which we do. What is the most important lesson you have learned from the disease? Just to t treasure every day and, and don't look at, uh, literally don't look at the glass. As, as half empty, look at it as half full. Mm -hmm. If it's half full, there's still more there. Mm -hmm. There's still more to taste and some more to enjoy.